April, 1973. Tragedy and despair have struck Central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores has seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago, but with no physical evidence, the investigation has stalled. With few leads and even less hope, Maria's younger sister, Ana Flores, and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness caused by Maria's disappearance would pale in comparison to the agony and despair they would soon discover. What awaited this group of youths was a nightmare beyond belief. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. secure the property and stop victims from escaping. The family's way of life depends on it. Keep all doors locked and make sure all exits are closed, trapped, and guarded. Make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box, and the water valve pump. The status of these items play a huge role in whether or not victims will have an easy path to escape. Make sure to collect blood from drainage buckets scattered around the map, or by attacking victims directly. Feed this newly acquired blood to Grandpa to make him stronger and more effective. The stronger he is, the more powerful his sonar ability will become. Pretty soon he'll be finding and highlighting victims for the whole family to see. Feed Grandpa enough, and he'll give the family new abilities that can be used for the rest of the match. Remember, Grandpa is the best killer that ever was. Hunt down the victims using abilities and teamwork. Look for signs of movement and listen for noise. Pay attention to your surroundings and keep your eyes and ears open. You never know where one of those victims might be hiding. Speaking of abilities, each family member has a unique ability that can help hunt and track down victims. Careful, though. Some abilities have limited quantities, while others are on a cooldown. So hunt wisely. Once you locate or find a victim, make sure you have a plan. Try to set up ambushes or catch them off guard. The direct approach isn't always the best, so use your fellow family members when possible. But once your plan unfolds and you get them within range, hit them, then hit them again. And remember, if you do manage to successfully hit or execute a victim, take that blood to Grandpa. He's hungry and needs his strength in order to help you. Oh, don't let a single victim escape. After all, we win as a family or we lose as a family. <laughs> 